All right, so we had planned on uh, some sailing adventures mm -hmm. where we were going to go out in the Gulf for the first time, maybe sail down to Freeport. Um, the weather just has turned horrible here in Texas. Uh, normally, winter is a couple days at a time, and then it's back to summertime, mm -hmm. or spring at least. And uh, we've just had two solid weeks of winter. Uh, right now, it's maybe 30 degrees. You can see Patricia yeah. <laughs> is... I'm wearing my winter gear. <laughs> and we had to turn the heat on on the uh -huh. boat. Um, so uh, last weekend, it was a uh, big north wind, and the north wind blows the water out. Uh, and Cavu was actually sitting mm -hmm. on the bottom in the marina. Uh, and we're in, a, in the deepest marina in the area. So uh, pretty much all the boating around here was done for that weekend yeah, in the mud <laughs> so uh we decided to put together a top 10 list of things we like about our boat these are not technical items some of them are options uh, but it's just kind of things that that kind of endeared us to the Geno 440 and uh so we'll start off with uh number 10. number 10 electric swim platform the swim platform has a remote which makes it super slick when we're walking up to the mm -hmm. boat because we're about two slips away our uh, transom will start coming down it'll beep 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 mm -hmm. and all our neighbors know that we're here yeah. <laughs> and also when we're anchored out we can close the boat up uh, so we don't have back wave come aboard or uh, you know, it just makes it a little bit more secure mm -hmm. uh, so we're we're happy with that it was a it was an option but I, I think it's one that we really like yeah and I like sitting on the swim platform dangling my feet in the water that's nice yeah it's really sizable for, mm -hmm. for the boat number nine the walk around this was a huge selling point for me the Sun Odyssey walk around series was a brilliant ideal Jano came up with see the deck is so maneuverable These nicely spaced shrouds. <laughs> I mean, this is safety right here. It's so wide and open, easy to maneuver. Why not? Ta-da! No falling in the water for us. We're not going in. The walk around deck is basically what sold the boat to us. Mm -hmm. It is safety um, and convenience. We um, we really like it because you just step out from behind the helm. You can walk forward. Shrouds are split, so mm -hmm. uh, you just walk right between them. It, it makes the going forward on the deck so much safer, yeah. so much more convenient, and it gives you a great sight line when you're sailing because uh, when you're in the helm position, you can look right down the side of the boat and uh, it gives you a great sight line uh, that, that you really don't get uh, in other sailboats. Number eight is this option we added to Cavu is this convertible combing right here. Let me show you how it works. <laughs> So this combing folds out to create a big sun pad, which is really nice to sunbathe at Anchorage. And there's also another piece that goes right here to make the whole sun pad even bigger. Yeah, the convertible combing. Uh, so Jeannot is trying to compete with uh, catamarans. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the things that, that this boat has really are to help it compete with catamarans. Kind of blur the lines. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of the catamarans have these nice sunning areas, especially at anchor. And this convertible combing, mm -hmm. uh, you, you can fold it down and it gives a great sunbed. Uh, Patricia really likes it when we're motoring because she usually works the lines 
and if we're motoring, there's yeah. no work for her to do. So, plus we're not healing. It wouldn't work so good if you're healed over. Yeah, <laughs> especially on that side. But it's it's a great place to kind of lounge around in the cockpit, um, and uh, it's something that's unique to this line of boat. Mm -hmm. Peekaboo. So number seven thing we like about Cavu is the garage. So this makes it really convenient to pass things from the cockpit into the boat. And it also is great storage. Come on, I'll show you. So this is the garage from the inside. And we added all these Milwaukee packouts. We have a video on that you can check out. Um, we also have our fishing rods and my uh, metal detector treasure hunting stuff. Plan on doing more of that. And also, we sh put our fridge freezers in here. We got a video on that too. And then uh, number seven, we call it the garage. It would really be a third uh, cabin if we didn't opt for the two cabin version. Yeah, we got the two cabin version because uh, it's just us mm -hmm. and uh, we need, knew we needed the storage and that's a great storage option for us. I know a lot of people uh, will convert a cabin mm -hmm. over. It's just this one already came like that. Yeah. And by coming like that, it was uh, cheaper. Yeah, we, actually. we actually have an exit so that we can actually load stuff, you know, straight from mm -hmm. the cockpit down into the boat, uh, just kind of pa uh, pass through, which uh, makes yeah. it great. Number six, the windows. This Janot Sun Odyssey 440 is full of windows. Um, it allows a lot of natural light into the boat great ventilation. I can look outside the boat standing up. I can look outside the boat sitting down. And yeah, it just makes this uh, 44 foot sailboat feel really open and so much bigger. Yeah. It goes, and it goes past the, just the window design mm -hmm. because there's not lockers up high. Uh, she knows moved all the weight down. So you move the center of gravity down in the boat, which helps the performance as well. Number five, I'm standing on it. The wine cellar, ta-da! Great wine storage. Keeps the wine safe when we're out at sea. Also, it's below the water line, so it keeps them at an ambient temperature. I don't know, it's just it's great. Which one you want tonight? I think we may have a Bordeaux. A Bordeaux, great choice. <sighs> may I interest you in a Chateau Colt Monza Petzi? <laughs> Cheers. Yes, it's a French boat. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna argue with the wine cellar. Yeah. We drink a lot of wine, mm -hmm. uh, we enjoy it, and uh, it's a great place to store your wine. It's uh, down low in the boat, it's uh, secure, and uh, you know. It keeps this, the wine cool. Well, this time of year it yeah. does. <laughs> you know, when the water's chilled off just mm -hmm. a little bit, uh, it's gonna, gonna keep your wine at a nice temperature. Yeah. Number four, all this counter space. Okay, no, there's a surprise under here. Prepare to be dazzled. Oh, Pop-up microwave. Conveniently located under the counter top. Out of the way when not in use and... Conveniently located when in use. <laughs> yeah, this is a space saver. Uh, it allows you to have more countertop mm -hmm. area so you don't have something cluttering up the countertop. But when you need it, it's it, pop, there, yeah. it pops up. And uh, so uh, it's a convenience item. It was an option as well, but I think we're happy that we mm -hmm. opted for it. 
Number three, these doors. They're double doors that open up into the master cabin, connecting the master cabin with the salon. And it just brings the whole boat together and, and it gives it a more loft-like feel. It also makes the boat feel bigger. Yeah, the interior design of this boat, it really opens it up. It gives it a loft type feel uh, and the, you know, just makes the salon area feel that much bigger yeah. because your sight lines are, are longer, makes the boat feel bigger. Um, and um, I mean, that's all there is to say about it. It's, it's, it's pure design. Yeah. Uh, but, but we really appreciate it. Number two, this bed is a queen size bed, pretty much. Nice rectangular shape. Fit normal bedding. None of this V birth stuff. No weird angles. Yeah. And you can walk around the bed which makes it easy to get on and off without disturbing your partner and easier to make the bed. And also it's really comfortable. And this is one of Trisha's favorites because even the Amel we looked at didn't yeah. have the square bed. Yeah, the square bed is number two. Uh, I really like being able to just to use normal Linens I can buy at the store. It's so easy to make compared to other beds on other boats. No V berth, no weird shapes. It's really nice having a normal size bed on a boat. Yeah, and in, in a 44 foot boat, to have a bed, uh, even a cabin like mm -hmm. this, uh, you, you can walk around. You can't walk around it, but there is side yeah, you access can get around it though, easily. and so you're really not disturbing your partner uh, if you have to get up you can roll out and uh, uh, it was uh, another kind of design issue that really set this boat apart yeah. number one favorite thing about Cavu is the heads i mean these heads were probably the selling point for me uh, electric toilet separate shower that's pretty freaking big and this is really what really got me was this little platform here the shelf which is great to pop your leg up on to shave and also is great storage for product and this little partition separates the shower from the toilet keeping the toilet paper dry the number one feature that we really like yeah. are the heads um, we got a two cab and two head version of the Genoa. his and hers <laughs> yes. what I call them <laughs> yes uh, so Patricia gets her own yeah. and I have my own uh -huh. uh, but both of them are identical and they uh, they're spacious the shower is separate mm -hmm. uh, you got great, I mean, it's a great shower experience that, um, you know, you feel almost like. Yeah, it's, it's a almost, regular shower. It's a regular shower. It's like taking a shower at home. Great pressure, great um, shower heads. Yeah. Got the little shelf in there for the products and propping your leg up if you want to shave. Yeah. Yeah. We're real happy with, uh, with the way the shower works yeah. and, and laid out. And so that, that's our top 10. Now, um, now if you have a Geno, uh Sun Odyssey 440 and would like to share your top 10 favorite list with us, comment in the links below. Yeah. And uh, we have an upcoming video that will be the things we don't like about the Geno because it's, yeah. uh, it's not all happiness. There's things we don't like. <laughs> yeah. We can't have it all, but... I think we did the best for what we could. But overall, we're yeah. happy with the yeah. boat, and um, we hope to get back out on the water here in the next week or two. Yeah, hopefully next weekend. I got a long weekend. Yeah, I'll have another sailing video for you.
Let's break out the foul weather gear if we have to. We just need water. We need the water to stay in the bay so we can get out to the jetties. So make sure you like and subscribe. The channel's growing good. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.